Welcome back everybody for another video blog from Glasswell. Thank you so much for joining us. Today's topic is going to be curing, and in particular curing under pressure. You know, if you've been in the business for very long, or if you've just been simply shopping for a winter repair system, you've probably already noticed that most systems will remove the injector and then go about curing a winch repair risk. The question is, is that the right way? Is that the best way to get the best possible repair? Well, to answer that question, just briefly, let's analyze the science of windshield repair resin. Windshield repair resin uses photo initiators to begin the hardening process. What that means is when a very specific bandwidth of UV light comes in contact with the resin, it begins to harden and bond to the surface around it. But at that same time, something else occurs. The resin begins to shrink, just slightly. So as a result, you may have done a repair in the past where you've noticed that after you've cured it, it actually looks worse than before you cured it, and that's the reason. Windshield repair resin gradually shrinks back from the outer shell of the brake when it's not cured under pressure. So how can we prevent that from happening? Well, all of our glass weld systems, our injectors, and our lights are designed to give you full access to the brake, to allow you to cure under pressure while the resin is being injected into the brake in a quick and timely fashion. And as a result, we're able to reduce greatly the amount of resin shrinkage that occurs, giving you a better, better repair. Thank you so much for joining us again to talk about curing under pressure and why that matters. We look forward to seeing you next time.